South Africa's Karoo region has always been parched. Karoo means land of thirst in the language of its earliest inhabitants, the Khoisan hunter-gatherers. Yet nothing prepared residents of its oldest colonial town, Graf Renet, for their worst drought in more than a century. Gideon Grunewald, a geohydrologist, uses a mix of science and spirituality in search of groundwater. In the Karoo of South Africa, and I suppose in all the semi-desert areas of the world, God provides drinking water and keeps it in two ways. One is in the clouds and one is underground. If we cannot locate these crack zones on earth, we will never know where to dig for water. But with the dry spell in its fourth year, the situation is desperate. Thousands of dead fish lie on cracked earth deposited by a receding dam, and farmers' animals are dying in their hundreds. More than a third of Heri Sneeman's livestock have died or been sold this year. It's had a hell of an impact on us. And uh, as you can see, the, the sheep and, and, and gorra goats is dying. The impact is widespread. And while the water that NGOs like Gift of the Givers hand out is welcomed, it's not enough. Valencia Isho, an unemployed mother of seven in the township of Umazisake, doesn't have water to flush the toilet, can't wash clothes, and only rinses plates that stink. Community members say the only thing they can do now is pray for rain.